Talking some trash is one of Call of Duty's most storied cornerstones, but sometimes it just doesn't work out how you want it to. These are the unforgettable instances where bold words fell flat. The inaugural year of the Call of Duty League brought about a new era, with franchise teams springing up across NA and EU. However, a shadow loomed over the iconic Optic Gaming brand. With new management at the helm, fan favorites like Skump were conspicuously absent. Leaving Optic, it obviously sucked. We built that brand, but it was just time to move on. The Optic name became tarnished, as the team finished ninth in the regular season, putting up embarrassing performances along the way. Welcome to the 50 Point Club Optic Gaming Toronto Ultra destroyed them. But they had one last shot to prove themselves at champs. So they found themselves up against the Minnesota Rocker in a high stakes losers round matchup. Despite being one of the worst teams in the league, Optic did not shy away from unleashing a taunt towards Rocker, poking fun at their season's trajectory. <laughs> Good luck at champs, because God knows you'll need it. Rocker's Exceed was quick to retaliate, confidently replying, ask your team how many maps they've won the last three times we've scrimmed, implying Optic's fate at champs to be a grim one. However, this champs matchup told a much different story. Stamp on it, draws it with 24, slaps it with 22, 20 plus for everyone across the board. And on the flip side, obviously not the case. Dominant fashion for that 3 0 and Brock. Optic triumphed over Rocker, and in the heat of the moment, Optic's Draza delivered the final blow to Exceed's earlier taunt, replying with 3 0 when it mattered, dog shit fuck. The words have been etched into Call of Duty's Trash Talk Hall of Fame, setting the stage for his own rise as a controversial villain. Three years when it mattered, dog shit, fuck. However, Optic Gaming Los Angeles' chapter came to a close after that first season, paving the way for a triumphant return of Optic Chicago. Formal carried over his rivalry with the Dallas Empire from the previous season, where he accused them of being online warriors and faltering when it came to LAN. Validating his claims, Formal led his team to victory against Dallas not once, but twice on LAN at the Kickoff Classic and the London Home Series. Just the way that they take gunfights, the, the challenges they take, they come to LAN and then they take those same gunfights against me and then it's just like, I'm just like, dude, I knew it. Like, I just... They're very hard to play against online. They're five based out of one state with very good internet. Yeah. Texas has always been known for super good internet. Yep. It just confirms the, the thoughts I had when I'm dying online and getting pissed and just like, dude, you would not kill me on land. And then they're taking the same challenge because they're building those habits. It's nice to uh, get those kills on land and, you know, it's, uh, it's really satisfying. However, as the pandemic wreaked havoc globally, the season took an unexpected turn, transitioning to a fully online format for the remainder of the 2020 season. Dallas Empire seized the moment, clinching the world championship from their bedrooms. But with the return of land events in 2021, Formal was more determined than ever to settle the score and prove that they couldn't do the same when it mattered the most. The return to land with the Stage 4 Major presented Formal with the perfect opportunity, but fate had other plans. 2.6 seconds and he wins the gunfight though! He's gotta stay alive! Shots, he's there to get it! No one left from Optic to make the run and it was a heroic attempt, but it was not enough. Dallas, make it a 3-0 here on day one. They're actually trying to do what he can. He has to go, but they find him. They have the close spawns, and that might be it. Envoy trying to fly. Just a couple seconds needed, and Empire take both hard points. They take the series. Optic made enough of a run to get... Dallas Empire dominated Optic not once, but twice. And Krim sees the opportunity, striking a taunting pose aimed squarely at Formal before taking to Twitter to continue his onslaught. GG's Optic, Formal. You owe me 6,250 of the MVP split. And when the f*** does Jumanji 3 come out, you Jack Black looking f***. Crim 6's actions following this incident propelled him into the spotlight as arguably the most hated villain in the Call of Duty scene. But way back in 2013, Crim 6 was on the receiving end of some spicy trash talk from Parasite of Farico. After seizing the World Championship, Impact stood unchallenged. Complexity, however, had other plans. Making a strategic roster move by bringing in Clayster to replace Too Quick, MLG Anaheim presented them with the golden opportunity to topple the reigning champions. However, in the tension-filled moments before the grand final, Parasite from Impact couldn't resist taking a jab at their supposed rivals. Tournament, you're going up against Complexity. They have the upper hand now. What are you going to do differently? Who's Complexity? 
I think I think they need a plaster to go with that burn. That was that was pretty intense. Okay, so you, what you're trying to say is you feel pretty confident right now. Yeah. This statement, however, would spectacularly backfire. Complexity rose to the occasion, dismantling Fariko with a resounding 6-2 map count across two series. Just seven more seconds for Complexity. Eggs on a six kill spree. Two, one, boom! Happy here in 23 seconds. Crim six and eggs have the front unlocked. TP watching the play. One go hey, right now. Crim is going to do it. That is it. This crushing defeat marked the beginning of Complexity's era of dominance, establishing them as the formidable villains of the Call of Duty scene, with Team Captain Aches at the helm. Patrick Aches Price has never shied away from a chance to stir the pot. Minnesota's weak, bro. I've seen so much worse. This is weak. I However, 2016 saw the tables turn on him as internal turmoil with Team Envy reached a boiling point. My one main concern about this Envy team is the relationship between Slasher and Aches. They argue from time to time if they could keep calm, keep level-headed between both those guys, I think this Envy team can see some success, but if they argue and bicker, that's going to be their downfall. After failing to meet expectations, tensions began to rise, culminating in a heated argument between Aches and Slasher. Do you think you've ever done anything worth a damn? You haven't, so shut up. Aix accused Slasher of never doing a damn thing in his career before being dropped from the team. He later found himself on Cloud9, and as fate would have it, the two would lock horns at the World Championship. Unfortunately, Slasher defeated Aix in pool play and went on to clinch the World Championship. No, it's all on Ricky. Ricky's the last man standing. Here comes Envy, and there we go. 6-1, Envy. I'm gonna secure the reverse sweep. But the rivalry between Aix and Slasher was far from over. Fast forward to 2018, and the two found themselves on opposing sides once again at the CWL Seattle final. In the lead up to the showdown, Aix couldn't resist taking a jab at his old teammate. He's had a better season than you and had a better run recently. Does that change today? It doesn't change anything. I mean, I'm looking right through him at Gunless. Uh, I'm not worried about Slasher at all. I got I got two sons up on this main stage with me and the better one's sitting beside me, so I'm not much worried about it. Unfortunately for Aix, his attempts to get under Slasher's skin backfired spectacularly. A Slasher rose to the challenge, securing victory in the final and having another standout season. That is probably Aix's body. No love between <laughs> Slasher and Aix. Now, and if you're EG... I Luckily for Aix, he would go on to win COD Champs later that season, solidifying his legacy as the Optic Slayer. As Aix reveled in his second World Championship, another player learned a harsh lesson about challenging the formidable Green Wall. During the Black Ops 2 season, Parasite found himself in the spotlight after making a bold statement in an interview. When asked to name the most overrated player in Call of Duty, he didn't hold back, delivering an answer that left many in the community stunned. Most overrated player in the NA, Scumpy. Um, most overrated team in the NA, Optic. However, Scump was not one to take such comments lying down, and he eagerly awaited his chance to respond. That opportunity came with the Fall Invitational, and Scump seized it with both hands. You're doing a fantastic job staying alive, finally cleaned up, and your score is with 15 now. 189 to 176 and counting, and Scump is getting cross map kills with the Scorpion. 15 seconds left on the clock, and that is not it's enough. Over. It's gonna be Optic Gaming. Oh my goodness, do you see Scumpy right now? Scump just had the game of his life, Pucket, finishing on top of the scoreboard. Once again, Scump proved that he was him. But unfortunately for Dashy, Scump's future teammate, he found himself on the receiving end of some swift retribution. In a video where Optic ranked their fellow pros, Dashy openly expressed his opinion on fellow AR player Clayster by declaring him a C-tier player. Like, play it against him. Three rings so is this against them? Is yeah. this all time? Oh, right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> However, this was a move that he would soon come to regret. Clayster was quick to respond to Dashy, 
making his feelings very known. But Dashi immediately retorted with a jibe of his own, insinuating that Clayster's successes were reliant on his teammates and his teammates only. However, Dashi's words would soon come back to haunt him, serving as a prime example of how quickly the tables can turn. When the Stage 1 playoffs arrived, it was Clayster who had the upper hand, knocking Optic out of the competition. But Clayster wasn't finished yet with just a simple victory. He delivered the final blow at the World Championship. Makes his way forward. Here comes the fight. There's one. It's a 1v1. Hydra now pushing the advantage. The damage is there. The kill comes through. And it's not over as the New York subliners prevent the reverse sweep. Optics Dashi may be the star of right now, but Scrappy is undoubtedly the star of the future. Whether it's trash talking in a different language or shooting bodies despite losing, Scrappy is as bold as they come. In his rookie season, he had a golden opportunity to seize the coveted world championship. As Ultra booked their spot in the grand final from the winner's bracket, Scrappy did not shy away from provoking his opponents. Yeah, you know, um, we knew what they were gonna come out and do. We know how they play. Uh, you know, shut down Hydra, team's pretty ass, so. You know, it is what it is. Um, you know, just kind of play us, mix it up. Don't just play one dimensional. Calling out three of the members of the opposition before the grand finals was a bold move. But little did Scrappy know, pissing off Kismet for the biggest game of his career was not a great idea. Then I heard Scrappy's interview afterwards, and I'm going to smoke him tonight. Torch is on the side. Oh! That trophy is mine! 4 0. 4 0. 4 0. Hey, Kiz. Let's go, man. That's how we stay composed, bro. Mid now, the pressure mounting. Can the young rookie do battle? No! I don't believe it! I'm, I'm gonna keep it cool. There was an interview, you know, he, he talked his talk. Uh, I let the gameplay speak, and it was a flawless sweep, so. I love that from you. Which player do you think had it worst? Drop a comment below and hit subscribe for more content just like this.